bag of Cabasil, supplied to us by Cabot Corporation. It's a new bag that they have uh, developed and we are testing with our DFB unit. You can see from the video that what we're going to do is take it out of the stinger unloader or the DFB unloader and we will make the attachment to the bag attachment mechanism which is centered in the video now. It will drop down into the conditioning chamber through the stinger section, elevate up four feet, come across, go through a piece of flexible hose and then we're just going to repack it back into a, a uh, another bag which we have located here in our pit. Um, the system will be set up so that we can do weighments uh, out of the system. Uh, see if I can zoom in here to the scale. It will, uh, will allow us to do weighments of uh, plus or minus uh, two tenths of a pound. Uh, we'll be running different bat sizes from probably 10 pounds up to 20 or 30 pounds, depending on what we want to, uh, what we want to achieve from it. Right now we've, uh, we've attached the bag to, uh, to our forklift uh, lifting bracket. Uh, the total height required in, in this system, Tony is going to uh, move the bag in and you can see the, uh, see the mechanism up here that makes the bag attachment. Okay, we've got a uh, double actuator safety arrangement on this. You, you must engage both of these levers. Uh, one lever is the safety lever. Go ahead, you can, you can go ahead and close it. That lever must be, must be held up at all times. The second lever then is used to bring the unit down, seal the bag. Now that you've got that seal, you can go ahead and make a complete untie of the bag, which he's doing right now. And then you come back to the position of stretching the bag out. And that gives you a full neck. And again, the critical area here is that you make sure that you've got your, your neck as straight as possible. But what's happening to the bag as we, as we stretch it up and put tension on it is that that is changing the structural integrity of the material that's inside so that it, it actually becomes its own bridge breaker. We're, we're drawing in on the bottom sections of the bag and that's allowing us to, uh, to make sure that we've got product available to us. So the bag is hooked up, uh, the machine is ready. Uh, I'll walk over here and we'll, we'll set in a weight. Excuse the uh, vibration from what I'm doing. But, uh, Tony, why don't we go ahead and, and uh, preset, let's say, a 20-pound batch and see what we get out of it. Let's see if I can zoom in here to That's what he's doing on that. Okay, he's preset in a 20-pound a, uh, weighment. Uh, it's been a matter of hitting the start button, and we are starting to convey product. And you can see the weight. It's a, uh, an accumulated weight. It's 1.2, 1.4. Point eight. I'll walk this over now and show you what this product looks like as it's going into the into the vessel. It's a uh, it's a very solid stream of cabosil. We are using probably for uh, for this particular test we're using somewhere between eight and twelve. Uh, SCFM of air for the total unloading process, which is uh, just almost nothing. You can virtually hand pump that, but um, maximum uh, maximum pressure on the system of about uh, um, or maximum yeah pressure on our manifold system about two and a half pounds is all the uh, actual supply air that we need. So to uh, to be able to show you, we had missed on the on before is is the actual flow of material that's coming out of there. And again, with Cabasil, the minimal amount of air and the full flow of, or the density that we're getting in this, in this product is pretty phenomenal. 